Good afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with Brecher Trading. Very excited to present to you on this YouTube video how we made 40 points shorting the NASDAQ futures in 20 minutes. Then we covered, got ourselves out, and never went back in. The concepts I'm going to talk about today, five of them. I'm going to go over them pretty quick. For a more detailed explanation, definitely join BrecherTrading.com and we have a free 10-day trial. That's another way to do it. First thing, futures in the 9 EMA. That's the exponential moving average. Number two is the Brecher ledge, a type of chart pattern I've developed. Number three, ATR trailing stop, sort of like a moving average. I think it works better. Piercing candlestick pattern and the MACD, that's an oscillator. First thing you're going to want to know is why on earth do we even think of shorting the NASDAQ today? This is where the 9 EMA comes in. Usually when the NASDAQ gets this far from the 9 EMA, that's this blue line. I'll make it bigger for you just so you have a perspective. Usually when it gets that far, it stutter steps. As you see, all these times it gets that far away, it comes back just a bit. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be like Armageddon. It means you can get some good reactions. The problem is you don't know where to initiate those reactions. You just can't blindly short, or you could have shorted there or here and gotten yourself really hurt. That's number one. Number two, we look at things called the ATR trailing stop, like I said, like a moving average. And when we saw this extended, we were looking for reversal patterns. The first thing we saw was this break, the ATR trailing stop. That was our first alert. Some of us shorted right there when we saw that break, but most of us shorted on that bear flag, right at the 9,000 level, little below 9,000. This now on, on the left, I'm gonna change this to a 15 minute chart. On a 15 minute chart, you're gonna see that topping formation as well. On the right, I'm now, well, on the left, I'm going to show you a five-minute chart. i got to show you two of these. It's very exciting. This, the next thing, is called a Brecher ledge. That's when you have a top and you have a horizontal line. We were eyeing that. So the first thing is we got in on the bear flag here, but when this broke, that Brecher ledge at 89.95, we knew we were right. So now you ride the ATR trailing stop all the way down, as you see. When do you get out? That's the next thing you're going to want to know. Well, this is where the 15-minute chart comes in very important. This is where the oscillators come in very important. As you're going to see in here, the market sold off. But the more times that you have tops, the more significant that becomes support. So now what happened is the market sold off, sold off, sold off. I had this red line, that support line. I drew that in. You're not going to believe this before the opening, that that was the ultimate objective. So what you saw in here was an oversold condition and you saw it hit the support. That doesn't mean you have to buy back. That's where we bought back 89, just at 89.60, made about 40 points. But if you weren't doing it that way, you could also use the ATR trailing stop. This is a close in one minute chart using the NASDAQ and using that support that you see over on the left. Here it is on the right magnified. If you didn't get out here, then there are two different ways you get out. You either get out when you break that ATR trailing stop at 89.69. You gave up some points. If you had sold 10 futures, guess what? You buy back 80% at support. And just in case you crash for some reason, then the other 20, you got it uh, just in case you let uh, two of them ride or you buy the others when it breaks that ATR trailing stop. The other thing, the last uh, concept I want to show you, it's called a piercing pattern. Now, piercing patterns are a lot different than what you see explained in textbooks these days. What do I mean by that? A real definition of a piercing pattern is when a red candle goes down, a green candle goes under it, and then it takes back half the red. In this case, and what I've been seeing is you hardly ever get it to make a lower low. So when it stopped at that support, when it took back half that candle, you better be out. Keep in mind that this kind of pattern was a contrary pattern based on the NASDAQ too far from its daily 9 EMA. 
But in the grand scheme of things, you're still in a big old bull market. As I zoom out now, if I take off every indicator, I think you could see a mile away the support area, right in that area. You can also see the piercing pattern. So what we did in there, and let's just sum it up, is we went on the daily. Now I'm going to go back and put this back to the way it was. So the first thing you're going to see in the NASDAQ is it was too far from the 9 EMA. That was our first reason. Number two, we were looking for some kind of rollover. As you see on here, we saw the rollover right there. That was a beautiful thing. So no, our second reason, the break of the ATR trailing stop. The third reason, the bear flag. The fourth reason, the Brecher ledge. Let me zoom out just so you can see that Brecher ledge better. There's your Brecher ledge. Look at that sucker right there. The fourth reason is when it went down, you had very little support until down here. Very little support. That was exciting. And then you got out when you hit the support or when it broke over that ATR trailing stop. So you had at least four reasons to get out. You had really two reasons uh, to cover your short. One of the reasons, the support. The third, second reason, the ATR trailing stop. The third reason, if you were stubborn, was the piercing pattern. I hope this makes sense. Like I said, we go a lot more in depth into all these kinds of concepts on Brecher Trading every day. But I jumped on the chat today to get people in this position. Take care. Have a great day.